turn it on, make it homemade erasers. This is going to be my first one. Kind of see the little shape a little bit. This pencil comes in the kit. But then, uh, next time, oh, this is by, uh, got it off of Amazon by Klutz, I believe it's the, Klutz is the brand name, this eraser. If you need them into shapes and stuff, it can make stuff like you can see in the background. So this is the first half, and I'll show you when I get the either done or close to done before the baking process. You have to bake these to make them hard, otherwise you, I guess, you use them like kneaded erasers. So I'm finding that when you work on something that's really small, it's a little difficult. Um, so this is what it looks like now. Forming the part of the pencil was a little difficult. So I'm hoping this eraser turns out okay. Either way, I'm still going to use it. I'm still going to film it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, next you see this, it should be put together but not baked. Okay, this is the finished product. Because I was working so small, it was a little difficult to get it to turn out the way I wanted it. But it's okay. Not bad for my first try. Next time I'll work a little bit bigger. That way it will not only fit on the pencil better, but it'll be more of a head and well well, you know, more of a bobblehead is what I'm what I really need to aim for. Because this kind of fits the pencil like it's part of the pencil. But I could tell it's gonna have problems because it's kind of thin. But um, I plan to use this to erase with it, not just for decoration. So it's going to be destroyed anyways. Thanks for watching. Sorry guys, kind of breaking out. But um, I wanted to add to the end of the video that when you're making erasers for top of pencils, you want to make them more like bobbleheads heads and not the pencil pencils. Because um, the tendency to tear increases. I started had that problem, so I just added more colored clay so that it looked like this part design and it wasn't so obvious and um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll have a finished product with a couple other ideas and some other crafts that I'm hoping to do uh, stay tuned and I'll see you about get some more videos out thanks for watching <laughs>